this one y'all might not want to hear, man. This one might might ruffle some feathers, you feel me? Uh, but really, some of y'all is out here charging way more than you worth. Drop your price. Yo, what's poppin' family? Man, it seemed like a minute since I did a vlog. Um, I have actually started recording a vlog a couple weeks ago, but I never even put it out just because I was like, dang, where's this going? But you already know, man, my life been busy. It's going crazy. New babies, new everything is going down. So um, I'm in the studio right now. I actually just finished recording a new YouTube video. So I thought I'd turn the camera on to y'all. And then I went to IG and asked what y'all wanted to see next. And somebody hit me up with a great question. Actually, let me find out exactly what my man's name is so I can shout him out. Hopefully you watching this video, bruh. And, and you be like, dang, my man Wayne, listen to me. Cause I do, I be listening to y'all. All right, bet. So, um, plus 48, hmm, that's a dope Instagram name too. Uh, I like that. Uh, so plus 48, basically want to know how to get more consistent clientele. Um, so I came up with a list of 10 tips or ideas that I think will definitely help y'all get more consistent clientele in your studio. Um, so that's what we're going to go through today. Now, of course, you know, I, I've been in here working on my plan of attack. So I had a client who's mix i just got approval on he finally approved all of the changes you know what i'm saying um sometimes it's easier than others sometimes you get a hole in one with a mix sometimes you got to work on it a little bit more do a few revisions for the client it's all part of the process so don't ever fret if you find yourself in that position you feel me um i do got a lot of emails that i need to catch up on because y'all never stop hitting me up but it's cool because i never stop responding and hopefully i will always be able to respond to every single one of y'all so that's what i'm gonna keep doing um i'm also vlogging today as you see this just got thrown in trust me it's not planned at all i'm just like you know what let's just turn the camera on and do this and then later on today i got a uh meeting uh with my man adam long who is uh one of the uh, admins and and helpers basically my mentor who helps us with the wavy seals elite um and, and he's going to be coming through today so that we can work on some new exclusive content and all kind of stuff that I'm not even going to talk about with y'all. But if you want to know more, if you want to be on the inside, then you got to get on the inside. And that means joining the Wavy Seals Elite. But that's up to you, man. You don't got to. You can keep on working on those average mixes if you want. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm sure your mixes are great. One of the first things, man, on how to actually secure and get consistent clients is to share your client stuff on social media, man. Um, don't make your social media page all about you 100% of the time. Sharing your client stuff and sharing uh, people who are around you, local artists who live in your area, that's going to get them to notice you. And people always like to see themselves. They always like to big up themselves. So if you bigging them up, if you sharing their content and stuff like that, they're going to share it back. Um, and that just shows that you actually care about the artists that you work with, man. So um, yeah, I think that is a huge thing. Use your social media platform to big up other people, to share the stuff that you're working on because it's doing twofold. Not only is it shining light on somebody else's project, but it's shining light on you as the person who did that. Now, that's tip number one. Now, tip number two, on the second hand, on the same hand, the other side of the same hand, the black side and the white side, you know, you got two sides of the hand, right? <laughs> uh, but on the same thing, uh, make sure that when you work on a client's uh, uh, project that you ask them to tag you or share um, or share that you actually did that. Let me fix this. Right. You don't want them to just be posting up all the time on the gram or whatever and you not getting the credit for it. I see so, so many times this happens, man. Uh, artists are quick to share and tag their photographer. It's like it's mandatory. And I don't even be understanding that. I'd be like, dang, photographer, if I paid you for the pictures, I still got to tag you every time I post it. Like, but, you know, they do that for the photographers because photographers demand that. We as mixers and recording engineers, we should demand that too. Make sure that if your artist is posting up a song that they did, they need to be putting it in there mixed by fill in your name and make sure that you send it to them. When you send off the final mixes, this is a great way to uh, request that, right? Um, be like, hey, have, make sure you got all your stuff set up properly, man. If you got a website or Instagram, whatever link you want them to tag, make sure just choose one. Don't have them a whole list of stuff. Choose one place where you want people to find you. So if it's Instagram, fine. Choose your Instagram. Make sure you got a tag. Hey, please, when posting this, please 
tag me, da 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 da, mixed by Wavy Wayne at Wayne that wave. You know what I'm saying? And put that whole thing. Now, when you send them off that, um, when you include that with the final mix downs, when you send it to them, they can't really refuse it, and it sticks in their brain as well. So um, that's that's uh, two of the tips right there. One, make sure that you're sharing your clients' work, and make sure that your clients are sharing your work. Now, I'm about to go ahead and get to bouncing down these stems. Well, not stems, printing these mixes uh, for my clients. So I'll catch y'all in a minute. up in here waiting on these joints to bounce right now so let's talk about another tip um while we in the middle of bouncing down another uh track and that tip is going to be um make daily posts man hit up the gram you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna actually make a post real quick right now on the gram let me just show you it don't gotta be nothing much man i'm gonna go on the story and it gotta be even on your page man i'm just gonna go ahead go to my story i'm gonna do a quick boomerang uh feet up in the studio yeah y'all probably seen this shot before b all right so make sure you follow me b let's see all right bet so and just that man just by having people see that you active um actually see that you doing stuff see that you in the studio it keeps you top of mind that's one thing we got to remember man in this kind of uh culture that we living in in this world uh, everybody is so busy and it's so much content, so many engineers, so many producers, so many studio that it could be easy for them to forget about you. So that's why daily you got to stay in their face, man. So even little posts like this, just to show people, yo, yes, I'm still in the studio. Yes, I'm still working. That helps. Now let's bounce some more mixes. So I just finished and I'm hungry. So I'm about to go and get me some lunch. But before I do, let's talk about another tip, man. Um, and this one right here is it's probably a tip that y'all already on because if you're watching my videos, then you're already in the spirit of learning. You're already in the spirit of improving yourself daily, um, which is great. Definitely stay on that. That's a major key, man. If you want to get consistent clients, you got to be consistently improving. You have to give your clients a reason to always come back. Now, that could be um, always it may be upgrading your gear in the studio constantly, right? Um, you're getting better microphones and better plugins and, and you or, or you learning new concepts. You understand it how to work with uh, different EQs and got different vocal production techniques that you're learning on a constant. So um, just constantly learning, constantly uh, increasing your skill level is what's going to make sure that you have some constant clientele always coming through. And ain't no better place to do it than right here on this YouTube channel, baby, and with the Wavy Seals Elite because we team up every week and we have like this mastermind group, man. And having a mastermind, which is basically a, a collective of like thinkers who are all trying to work toward a, a common goal right we meet up every week and our goal is to improve the mixes to be better engineers um so uh, our mastermind group meets up every single week through the wavy seals elite and yeah man i'm about to get out of here so i can go get me some lunch before i gotta come back and start working on some new content for that for y'all so um yeah that's another tip i got some more tips coming All right, y'all, so I'm about to get this lunch that I just ordered. But let's go ahead and talk about the next tip, man, on how to get more consistent clients. And this one y'all might not want to hear, man. This one might, might ruffle some feathers, you feel me? Uh, but really, some of y'all is out here charging way more than you worth. Drop your price. Drop your price so that the local artists in your neighborhood and your community can afford to actually come and work with you more often. If you're charging more than they can afford, then that's a huge reason why you can't get those clients in there, man. I know one of the best engineers I know has an astronomically low price and he's always booked and he does some of the most amazing work. 
And then I know cats that's charging two or three times more than he is. I'm talking about seven Grammy nominations, uh, all kind of uh, hardware gear, uh, uh, invested thousands of thousands of dollars into his studio. Um, and, and his price is much lower than a lot of these brand new cats with almost zero experience mixing everything in the box. Uh, yes, that's an issue, man. Some of y'all value on yourself is too high and you're pricing yourself out the market. So if you want to be able to work with independent and local artists, you need to take into consideration that there are limitations on their budget. So if you want to work with them, you got to make sure your price can work for them, man. I had to realize this myself. I was working in New York City and then I moved back to St. Louis, my hometown where I'm at now. And I had to lower my price to uh, actually do the recording sessions to, uh, for these local artists here, man, because the market in New York City is totally different than the market here in St. Louis. Not saying that people ain't getting money, it's just like the cost of living is so much different, man. So when I come down to St. Louis, even I know my worth, man, but I have to humble myself, take that out the equation, and factor in what it will take to actually generate a good business uh, 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 and make a living wage um, and make money from my craft, but at the same time, be affordable to the people who I am trying to serve. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're in the service industry, so don't price yourself out of the market, all right? All right, there go my spot right there across the street, Rebel Kitchen. So I'm about to walk over there right now, get this food. I'm just gonna leave the car running and everything, B. Ooh, you see them jays, bro. Y'all see how I be walking around. St. Louis lifestyle. There she go. There she go. Look at all clean. <laughs> Woo. It is hot outside today. Uh, but Rebel Kitchen, man, before I pull off, let me just show y'all what I got. Basically, I got this bowl. It's healthy food, but it's mad delicious, man. Um, like they cook super clean stuff, no additives, not a bunch of fat, nothing fried. Um, so I always get the exact same thing because I love the app online where it basically saves your meals and you can just go get the same thing. I'm one of those guys that eat the same thing all the time. If I like what I get, I eat it all the time. Like I eat the same exact thing for breakfast every day. Um, I eat the same lunch pretty much every single day if I can. because. Uh, why? If it works, then don't break it, man. But yeah, what I got in here, I got the quinoa, I got black beans, I got grilled mushrooms, collard greens, double grilled chicken, because you got to have that protein, baby. Uh, and I got that mustard barbecue sauce. They put some onions, some pickled onions on there. Let's show y'all what this thing is looking like real quick. I ain't going to eat it in the car, but I am going to eat it at the crib. Oh, man. Hopefully y'all can see how good that look. Oh. See, oh yeah, and it got the goat cheese on there too. So we got the pickled onions, the collard greens. Sometimes I'll switch it up and get the um, uh, sweet potatoes in there. But today I wanted to go a little bit less on the carbs. So I was drinking last night. Uh, so <laughs> this is going to be it. All right. So uh, before I pull off, let's talk about another tip real quick. Let me see where my phone at because I put it in here. I ain't even in no parking spot. So hopefully down on a trip, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. I took a photo of my list. I be making lists. Oh, man. So let me close this up while I'm doing this. Think outside the box, man. Thinking outside the box is another really, really great way to increase your clientele and especially get some consistent clients. You got to think, man, who needs consistent recording and mixing services? professional artists do man and not just a uh, hobby artist i'm talking about professional artists um that's one way right so find artists that are actually getting paid for what they do they're constantly um working and promoting themselves 
and they will be constantly in need of recording services, right? If you just get those artists that just want to record today and then, you know, may not record again for six months, that's fine. Uh, but as a, as a professional and you try to grow a business, you're going to need more consistency than that. But also, like I was saying, they'll think outside the box because there are a lot of churches, right, who require professional audio services. A lot of churches, a lot of businesses, um, especially now during the pandemic, when pretty much everybody is like working from home and there's a bunch of Zoom stuff. There's a lot of need for audio visual work. Think about podcasts. So many people nowadays have a podcast or they about to start a podcast. That's super huge. You can offer record podcast recording service. <laughs> My bad, I accidentally cut it off. But you can offer podcasts. Oops, my bad, y'all. You can offer podcast recording services in your studio. And basically, uh, a podcast needs to be recorded every week or uh, every month, right? It's a consistent thing. So by offering podcast services, you automatically have consistent work, all right? So keep that in mind, too. It don't always got to be just music. Uh, churches, some, that's something that happened every week. Podcasts, that's something that happened every week. I think those are two markets that you can definitely tap into. Also tap into the local businesses around you, man. Uh, there's a lot of businesses that may need audio services for um, recording stuff for commercials, little jingles on the radio. Uh, position yourself to be able to work with them because those are going to be the clients who uh, will provide you long lasting repeat work and they tend to pay a whole, a whole lot more because they got the bigger budget. So um, keep that in mind too. All right. Think outside the business. I'm about to go and eat. So whatever's in that business. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, that was good. All right. So, don't get the big box if you ain't a big eater, man. That was the big box. But back to the topic at hand, you feel me? Well, let me wash this down real quick. When it comes to getting consistent clients, man, um, one thing is... The one thing that's important is having a niche, man, and actually niching down and, and focusing on one specific aspect, right? And I know just on the last topic, I was just talking to y'all and telling y'all, yeah, you should be doing um, a, a recording podcast and, and recording uh, commercial spots for uh, businesses and all that stuff. But um, on the other side of that token, man, niching down and, and having one area of focus will not only make you better in that area, but it make you known in that area. So for example, if I only mix hip hop, if I only record hip hop artists, all the hip hop artists will know me. I'll get a chance to to not only hone those skills, but build the relationships with a lot of hip hop artists. Because ultimately, a lot of um, uh, uh, new clients, a lot of getting clients is all word of mouth, man. I would say at least 90% um, of my clients come from another client to where they just branch off of each other like that, man. Uh, it's kind of like a family tree. So uh, niching down, being known for something specific and, and sticking to that for as your main uh, 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 aim is, is going to be crucial to kind of setting yourself up for your clients to know what to expect from you, man. That's always just super important, man. And then on another one, let's just go ahead and get another tip too, since we're talking about having your clients know what to expect. Set up systems in your business uh, so that you can be consistent, man. So that every mix is the same. So that if, you, if you're going to deliver a clean, dirty, and a acapella every single time you mix, make sure you do that every single time you mix. If your levels are, are going to be, you know, negative 1.0 on the, on the final uh, uh, export, right? Make sure you do that every single time. So having a system in place or multiple systems in place to where your whole business is ran in a consistent manner uh, will keep your clients to coming back, man. When they can predict what they're going to get from you, it makes them a whole lot happier, a whole lot easier to keep coming back to the same spot, man. It's the same reason why people keep going to McDonald's. And it ain't because McDonald's is delicious or it's good. We know that that crap is horrible for you. But 
one thing you can guarantee is that when you go to McDonald's, you know exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get the same experience every time. You're going to get the same taste every time. You're going to get that same weak ass customer service every single time. But when you want that and you know that that's what you want, you can constantly go to the same place to deliver the same results for you. You need to be that for your clients. I'm going to keep on watching uh, this MKBHD and send some emails. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on Adam to get here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I told you the legendary <laughs> man is here. Hey. Adam Lung, he just got here. So um, I told him about what was going on and how I've been giving y'all these tips, basically, or, you know, suggestions on um, what I think could help you get more consistent work and more consistent clientele for your studio, home studio, all that. So we're going to get the last tip from Adam, man. So I think he has been consistent. How long you been doing this? Oh, man. Uh Hip hop in St. Louis since '94. '94. So Adam, well, I think ain't no best person to tell us. You know what I'm saying? What What do you think? What's a key or tip that you would give everybody to uh, getting consistent work and, and working oh, for first, a long time? Well, first thing is you got to be a fan of what you're doing. You You have to be really excited about what you're doing. Uh, you know, if if you don't like country music, don't get near it. <laughs> Good, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm a fan of hip hop. Uh, my roots started out in punk rock. I was in a punk rock, and for me, hip hop is the urban version of of punk rock. And uh, man, I, I just I love it, you know. So, and so I've been doing that. Uh, the thing is, uh, always make a mix that is deep and big and not you know impresses people. Uh, when somebody hears it, they're gonna go, "Damn, who makes that?" <laughs> Ching, there it is. And that's another client right yep. there. And so remember, you got to have stereo subwoofers. If you don't have stereo <laughs> subwoofers, um, uh, what, go and get, go, just do it, just do it. Yep. Yeah, that, hey, if you don't even know about that, then you're probably not an elite. But if you already Wavy Seals elite, then you know about the stereo subwoofers. But Adam, dope tip. We got some work to do. We working on some super exclusive content for the Wavy Seals Elite and all that. So we're going to go ahead and get to work and peace out on y'all. This is the end of the vlog today. See ya. Peace.